Welcome back. It is so great to see our friend Jen John Meyer. Ta da! <laughs> Alamo Draft House, and of course, Amy Jardell with the Ozarks Literacy Council. So let's start with Alamo Draft House because we're so lucky that we get to see you more often this year. I love you're, to see you. You're coming in. And you're I'm coming in in the morning, and yeah. you know, we're kind of a night industry. So I know you are. Yeah. That's, me That's why we're honored and impressed. Yeah. Well, thank you. That you're up Say for it again. us. And looking, and looking lovely. And look, yeah. both of you looking right. gorgeous. Just out everything. of the salon. <laughs> right. Right. Like, look at that. Uh -huh. Red carpet ready, ready to go. Yes. So what's going on at Alamo? It's January 2023. Amazing things, by the way, too, for the movie industry, because I was just at the awards show. It was a great vibe in the room about movies. It yes. was positive. It's really, really, I th we're coming back, baby. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. Um, also, like, January is typically like a slow time. For the movies, you know, you got some leftover stuff, residual stuff from December, but we've got some like surprise entries, like Megan, that little horror movie about the doll, yeah. is doing very well. Uh, I heard Puss in Boots 2 is really amazing. Like, so we have some really strong contenders already, which is a great sign for the year. Yeah, I'm also excited. Here's this tells you how excited I am. I don't even like Tom Brady, but that 80 for Brady that's coming I out, see that so too. I'm all in for that. Yes. The cast alone, I'm just like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. I was just watching an ensemble interview with all of them, and it was hilarious. So uh, yeah, when I first saw that trailer, I was like, yes, I'm in. I'm I can't in. even imagine how much fun it was to work on that right. movie with them, and just their personalities and their comedy. Yeah, right. It'd be amazing. Yep. If you haven't seen that, Google that really fast. Now, I know here in the Ozarks, we're not fans of, you know, Mr. Tom Brady. Well, some are, but you know, we're Chiefs Kingdom here. Right. So, yes. but it, the movie looks hilarious. It really does. Yeah. And yeah. that's exciting. And now, Amy, you're here. Usually, you guys are here together for Ozarks Literacy Council. That's right. But you guys have a different kind of uh, thing going on right now through Alamo. Yes. So, uh, at our back lot at Alamo, a restaurant that's attached, we have something called Charity on Tap. So, we partner a lot with local businesses for ingredients, uh, lo local breweries, um, because we have 48 taps. So, you know, we have a little bit of everything in there. But some a program that we do is Charity on Tap, which ties into one of our core values of fostering community. And that's where we partner with a local brewery and we partner with a local nonprofit. And a dollar for every pint sold of that chosen beer goes to the nonprofit. That so, is wonderful. And so is. is it benefiting Ozarks Literacy right, Council this month? It's benefiting Ozarks Literacy Council this January. Mm -hmm. And it's a um, Springfield Brewing Company yep. beer. A until that one runs out, and then it's another one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So okay. right now it's uh, the vanilla stout, and then we go into mic drop. Yes. So those two, okay. those two beers. See, I need to come in. I'm not a beer drinker normally, but when you say stuff like vanilla something, yeah. then I'm that right, like, right. right. You yeah. need to take one for the team. You'll like yeah. it. Yeah. I yeah. think I will because I I want to support great charities, of course. Yes. And yes. then maybe it will open my eyes to an, uh, another beverage I've never. Exactly. Tried. Maybe I'll like it. Exactly. Maybe you will. Maybe I'll love it and buy like and the whole thing. If you don't, you've done a good thing. Exactly. Yeah. So. And if, right. some, if somebody just happens to be tuning in for the first time, we're used to having you guys on. We love Ozarks Literacy Council. In fact, are you guys going to be at that uh, Dr. Seuss thing again yes. in March? Okay. I was just got contacted about that, which is amazing. Tell the viewers about Ozarks Literacy Council. Ozark Literacy Council is um, a nonprofit, as Jeremy mentioned. Uh, we've been in Springfield for 54 years. Um, we have three main programs, uh, reading tutoring with for adults and children. That's a free program that we offer for anybody who has a need. There's, um, there's no requirements, income requirements or anything. You just have to have the desire to want to improve your literacy skills. And we have a classroom reading program we call a reading resource program. And we're at Williams and McGregor Elementary this year, classroom reading. There's a volunteer that goes into every classroom um, for a half an hour every month. And so uh, pre-K on up to fifth grade, they get read to, which is a wonderful treat. Mm -hmm. And they all go home with a free book, which is amazing. And then we've got a preschool program, which does pretty much the same thing, but every quarter, once a quarter. So we're really working on um, creating that positive literacy experience for our littles, um, starting that to erase that stigma that, you know, reading is a chore and reading is something I have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, very often when uh, we get a new student registration, we'll, we'll call the, the responsible adult and say, you know, what's going on? What are you looking for? What, is, what do you need? Uh, what are you guys doing at home? Very often it's, well, I, I, I make him read, you know, 20 minutes a day. It's like, well, yeah. that's part of our yeah. problem. You know, we, we need to read with our kids. We need yeah. to make it a fun, rewarding, bonding experience. So um, we're really working on making that happen. We're getting great positive uh, feedback from the teachers, from the children. Mm -hmm. They love it when their book person comes every month. They're all excited about getting their brand new books. 
And um, that one dollar that we get from a pint really it yeah. can buy a it. It adds up. Yeah. It really has your baby started learning to read. She has a four year old. We just started um, doing some activities to get him ready for mm -hmm. kindergarten. He's going to oh, go to kindergarten yes. this fall. Yeah. And it really does help to make it fun, make yeah. it a game. Get you know? the Dr. Seuss um, ABC book. Yes. It's rhyming, it's repetitive, and it's really one of the best books to help them learn their ABCs. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. so a uh, Amy and Jen, stick around. Can you play a game with us? Oh, yeah. Because you know we love when you play games. Yeah. And then if somebody wants more information about everything that's happening at Alamo Draft House. Drafthouse.com. That's it? That's it. That's easy? That's simple. <laughs> and guys, why are we playing a big uh, 80 for Brady party maybe at Alamo? Maybe we just have oh, a big I party. Oh, I love that. That'd we just have some yes. of that cauliflower I'm crust always, pizza that I love. Oh, my God. I love, it. I love so it good. Too. Okay, yes. coming up, we're going to play a game with our new friends. It's Best Bids. And i got to explain how it works, but it's super fun. We'll be right back. It's one of my favorite games. It's, it's great. It's like Name That Tune, but with words.